Greetings from a hotel room somewhere in New York City. Here we go again. Congress says they're going to impeach uh, this Mayorkas fella, right? He's the guy in charge of border security. And, and here's what I say. I don't think impeachment is far enough. We, we might have to take some more drastic measures. This guy uh, is in charge of, of, of keeping our borders secure. And, and since he's been on the clock, millions and millions and millions of people have come across the border illegally. So he's either uh, stupid or he's incompetent or he's a liar. I think it might be a combination of all three, but it's probably the liar part. Because here's the deal. Like, uh, all these people come across the border, and then, like, New York is like, we can't take it. We, we can't take anymore. And Chicago is like, make it stop. This is too much. And Texas is like, this is officially an invasion. We're declaring an invasion. Then you get this Mayorkas guy uh, to testify, and he's like, the border is uh, secure. Uh, it's secure. Do you not know what secure means? Or do you know and you're just lying? This is like uh, hiring a plumber to come in uh, to fix your toilet because there's a little bit of water, you know, on the bathroom floor. And then he comes in and he declares it fixed, but there's water everywhere. And he's like, that toilet is secure. No, it's not. It's not even close. And now to add insult to injury, Mayorkas just went down to Texas for a photo op. Yeah, because like he doesn't believe people. Like, like he doesn't believe the mayor of New York. He doesn't believe the people in Chicago. He doesn't believe the people of Arizona or Texas when they say that this is an invasion. Mayorkas goes down to Texas and he's like, I don't know. Looks like it's, uh, looks like it's okay to me. Nope. Nope. Impeachment isn't good enough. It really isn't. Cause, cause then he just, oh boy, I gotta have my government pension. I think we need something like, like jail. Cause here's, here's what you could learn from jail, Mayorkas. You know, you say walls don't work. Let's see if those walls in jail work and can separate people, right? It can be a learning environment for you. And at night, we can leave your cell door open since you're so trusting of people who just come and go as they please while you're in your jail cell sleeping. We'll just leave your door open and see how you feel about your policy of security and secure borders. Let's give that a try.